Hello Libra, Sun, Moon and Rising. Welcome to your Avalon Rituals reading for September 2020. I can't believe how fast the time is running. At the moment I feel like it's Monday and suddenly it's Sunday. Literally, I have no clue. Are you feeling the same? I feel just like time is speeding up massively. Um, but anyway, let's let's do your reading for September. I'm going to lay out the Linamore cards. And before I am going to do that, I will play the Crystal Chalice here. It's a 432 hertz vibration or frequency. And also, as you can see, it's yellow. So that means it's the solar plexus chakra. If you do not want this now, uh, this is basically for relaxation, for healing. And if you would like to go just do your card reading, then go to, I would say, two minutes. 30 this is where roundabout your reading is going to start and you will see this because the cards will be on the camera I'm gonna switch the camera perspective when I am in the reading and for everybody else you can just close your eyes and relax and receive those solar plexus energies <laughs> shuffle your cards and lay them out and in a second you will see your cards as well all right libra so this is your linamore reading uh you are this lady here no matter of your gender and your love interest is the male person here no matter of their gender uh if you do not have a love interest that could be the most important person uh, in your life, could be a friend, uh, it could also be an ex-partner. So the interesting thing is, um, when I shuffle the cards, uh, at some point I turned the, the cards around and I saw the coffin and I was like, oh interesting, that's the energy of something is ending. But then I shuffled and I actually, while I was shuffling a couple of seconds like further in, it was already forgotten. But then I saw that you are here on the last position and that basically means that you are at the end of a chapter, you are at the end of a cycle. It might be that life feels a little bit heavy at the moment because you are at the bottom on the deck um, of the deck, or not the deck, but the spread. Also, you are in the house of karma. So I do feel like there's some sort of karma or a lesson um, that is going to be like fulfilled or completed. So you are basically just about to go into another chapter of your life. So let's see, also the coffin is here next to you. So uh, that we, we do already have like the double or that's the third time now because this was the card that I saw on the bottom of the deck. So let's see what else do we got around you. We have the flowers next to you that could simply mean that you are very artistic, very creative. Everything surrounding the topic of creativity and beauty could be very close to you. Uh, it might be that there's a surprise coming in which could relate to some sort of stability or, um, or maybe even to work here. What are you thinking about? Okay, so we do have the flowers, uh, the lilies here. The lilies can stand for harmony, for sensuality. Uh, it can also stand for family or an older male person. Um, that could refer to a father figure or it could refer to a grandfather and so on. So there is something here related um, to a partnership. It could be family and partnership where there is some conflict. It could be an older man, an older 
men that you have a relationship with where there is a conflict. It could mean that there are, did I say family related conflicts? Yeah, I, I think I did that. Um, or that something about the harmony within a relationship. I mean, if there's conflict, very likely there is a little bit of a um, imbalance in the harmony here. Let's see where this is going to, to the uh, book. The book is about facts and informations. It is in the house of the clouds. So I do feel like maybe there are some, some, maybe there's some conflict because of something that is hidden or some informations that are not clear. I feel like something is not really clear. Maybe something there that you can't really fully see. The interesting thing is if I now jump to the clouds, which are also in the first three cards, and the first three or four cards you could use as a as a headline basically. So let's do that because on top of here there are there's so, the book already can stand for something that is hidden. It can stand for hidden knowledge, it can stand for learning something or maybe some facts and informations are being brought to life but uh, not brought to life but brought to the light but it is in the clouds so again a kind of like uncertain energy here the clouds again here is confusion confusion and also the fox both both can stand for covering something up while um this could be covering something up for uh, out of fear this could be covering something up out of self-interest. So we do have this energy here um, that that might be the case. Maybe there's a situation with the fox where you need to be clever because the fox is a the fox always comes in when there's a tricky situation where you really have to be mindful and clever about how you um, how you maybe talk or what you do in a certain situation. And this is next to the luck. So the sun is the best card in the whole deck. Um, which is good because everywhere the card of the sun is or the other negative cards are a little bit lighter and therefore I do feel like I do feel like there is I do feel there is this uncertain situation and you need to be clever in order to here get the the luck and the transformation I'm gonna count this in as well there is a lucky transformation possible in this uncertain situation but you need to be very mindful and clever about this going back here we do again have the house here so that again could stand for family father there might be something where well, the coffin is some sort of ending or some sort of sadness um, it might be that in your private life or in your home life or family life there's some sort of ending here that you're working through um, in your further environment, we do have those cards. So there is this other person, your love interest, which is actually um, in the further environment here as well. There is a decision related to this person. Interestingly, the ring is in the house of a decision. So I do feel like there is some sort of decision related to a partnership. May it be friendship, may it be business, or may it be a love relationship. And I do feel like this decision either comes through through text or a phone call or it comes or there is some nervousness and stress related to this decision but we do have the child here which of course could indicate that there's a child in this situation as well but very very often this stands for a new beginning so it seems like i mean and then of course i just said it right you are at the end of a chapter something is ending here maybe there's some sadness or grief but you are about to enter a new phase in your life and there is something central around the decision here, probably also with your partner or love interest um, or whoever this person is for you, that is going to lead to a new beginning. So, all right, um, let's have a look. Where are we going now? Do you know what? I feel we're going to go to and have a look at the ring now because that's already in your thoughts. So a decision related to a partnership. We do see a new beginning in a partnership mm, could lead to some, maybe ex sometimes this could indicate excitement because stress and nervousness on the other scale of that is excitement. So that could be the case as well. In this moment, the cat jumps in. Well, that was exciting a little bit. Um... And again, here's some sort of 
ending related to a partnership. May I don't know. I just get a really sad feeling here. Like something has ended. There is maybe some grief involved. Um, and it's, it is related to your private life, your home life, your family life. These situations. So everything I see around the, the card of the ring. It doesn't need to all relate to just one specific person. It could very well be because we have, for example, those two cards related to you. So it could very well be that this row shows a new beginning within a in a partnership or a friendship, and in another in another partnership which would be family related, there's some sort of ending here maybe. Um, let me know how that resonates with you. I would really love to know. Um, what resonates here for you. Then again, we do have the fish can stand for finances. And if that is the case, just having a quick look, I feel like finances, finances, there are some, there is some conflict. It also seems like there's a positive change related to finances and there will be new stability and new beginning here, possibly a new contract, which is maybe not so sure or the facts about the contract are maybe not so sure yet. Um, but if I see this related to the ring, I would say this is emotions, like very sensitive, being very sensitive. I mean, Pisces are very sensitive, intuitive, emotional uh, sign. And it seems like there's some sort of conflict here related to your emotions and to this partnership. This could refer to someone in an authoritative position. So the bear can stand for... Actually, it can stand for a mother or maybe even a father uh, because the bear can stand for parenthood. Uh, it could stand for a chef, a teacher, a coach or someone who has a specific influence uh, in your relationship life or partnership life. This could also stand for your own strength. So it might be that there's some sort of conflict here uh, that um, also gives you some sort of conflict with your own power and strength if that makes sense to you. If I mirror this ring, I see there is again the partnership, there is conflict in your partnerships and blockages in your partnerships. Um, we do see also the new beginning is a challenge because the, the mountain can stand for blockages or challenges and the child, which stands for new beginning, is in the house of the mountain. So there is something around the topic related that a new beginning is a little bit of a blockage or a challenge. Um, yeah, and we do have, well, we do have here either a meeting or some sort of public situation or maybe a social circle that plays a role here as well. So in that case, if I just see those cards, this could also be conflict in your work life with the social circle and the partnerships you have there. I don't know what's going on today. There are so many sirens today. Wow. Maybe that has a meaning for you too. Mm. Maybe be a bit careful. Caution here. Mm. Okay. So. Let's go further. I would like to have a look um, at this person. Because you're not so far away. So. What is between you guys? There is a lot of appreciation and compliments and I do feel the flowers are just positive. And then there is the house. So it seems like the two of you know each other quite well. That's what I feel with the house and the flowers. Um, also a lot of appreciation between you guys. So let's have a look what's around this person because we were already here in the partnership aspect. Oh, one other thing. We do have... In the house of the ring, we do have the scythe. So it might it might be that a partnership is ending. Let's just see what else I, I get here. It might be that something needs to be let go of or maybe a contract that is being shortened uh, or something needing to be let go of in a partnership. Maybe there is some there are some wounds happening in a partnership. Mm. Okay, let's... Let's go a bit further here. So this person is in his own house. So that means that this person might be very much focused on himself. We do have uh, 
like a deep soul connection here with the moon the moon is a de is like the depth of the soul it's deep emotions so we do have this here it might be that you're living with this person together okay so far so good we do see the ship here uh, also related to this person those three cards so it might be that there's some sort of journey that is going to bring in more stability and appreciation with this person um it's quite interesting because those two cards it's quite interesting because those two cards are the opposite energies this is moving this is not moving so maybe someone is coming back maybe there was a relationship ending in the past but now this person is coming actually back and there's a decision related to this partnership just trying to put the pieces together of the puzzle here. The thing is with the Linamore, there are so many different meanings to each card. So if you have a few details, then it's much more easy to um, to get into a reading and to be like, you know what, this is actually exactly this. So while I am not having these informations, I'm a little bit like, oh, this could be this or this could be that. I'm always trying to be a little bit more precise now in the readings because I feel like I'd rather have a more precise reading uh, which resonates with less people but then gives more information for less people than to just be really wide. Um, the interesting thing also is that this is technically the past. So I feel like maybe there was a breakup in the past and some things are unclear, which is why you need to be mindful and cautious, which is also related here to the matters of the heart. I do feel like the two of you are very close, maybe know each other already for a long time. There are deep feelings. Maybe this person somehow relates to the place you live or how you have a family with this person. Or um, it could simply mean like being very close in a, in a way. There is the snake here oh and the interesting thing is usually when you see the when you see the boat or the ship uh, it can talk about someone leaving so it could talk about someone leaving a situation leaving a relationship not wanting to settle down but now the ship actually comes back and it's like I'm coming back now that's my anchor here I am surprise surprise because the flowers could literally mean a surprise so oh my god this is getting really interesting so it feels almost like someone is coming back into your life and now it's like, bang, you know what, I'm here now. Yeah, thank you very much. I, I know now, I appreciate, you know, I see, I see what we had and I really, I want to I wanna come back. We do have the snake here. So there might be a potential that this person was, in, was involved with another woman. But if this is not another woman, it could just be like that this person is thinking about the complications and things that are complicated and delayed in his or her life. Uh, but I do see also this person is thinking about a change. Um, I feel like this other person wants to change something very significant in his or her life. And maybe this is about uh, another woman that was there. Maybe this is also about, or not also, but it could be, if this, this it could also stand for healing, by the way. Actually, we have a very strong healing line here with this person snake can stand for healing this can be health and this is a change so i feel like it could also mean that there's a strong healing line healing something in in his life or her life and a strong transformation um nevertheless i do feel like with this person there were some complications in the past um maybe now there's a meeting maybe a meeting with this person is a bit delayed but it's leaving leading to a new beginning here and that's the interesting thing, right? Because a snake can literally be a couple of things from very good to not so good. <laughs> um, anyway, let's have a look around the further environment of this. Wow, okay. Okay, I feel like there were blocked emotions with this person. But there's going to come in a solution here. A solution also for this partnership. I... The thing is with the Linamore, also I do this very intuitively, so I always listen to what emotions and feelings come up and what spirit is telling me while I'm doing the reading. So I do somehow feel there was a partner in the past who's now coming back and who's now sure about something. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm sure about this now. There is a solution. And 
maybe this is about the grief that something has ended in the past but i do feel like someone is coming back but be a bit mindful some things might be a little bit unclear and this is why this card could also stand for clearing things it's, it's not just conflict it's also like clearing things in a partnership wow um all right let me just see if there's anything else yeah in your in your private life there's going to be a significant change which is related to a karmic situation oh we didn't do the love right yeah love there are love is in the house of the scythe so there were actually uh there was a painful situation someone who cut him or herself off i do feel like that is the case we do have this karmic um situation but there will be a resolution there will be a solution uh, on a meeting here i do still feel like something is still blocked it feels like it's not going to be just easy flowing um it might be that the trust in this love is a little bit blocked from your side which is understandable when there was like this breakup and therefore you might be a little bit cautious here and be like oh i'm confused now you're coming back uh you know, now you're sneaking back again and can i trust this but i do feel like there's a significant a uh, very powerful change here um yeah let me know if you resonated with it if so leave a like a comment or subscribe to the channel especially it would be interesting as this is a september reading uh to maybe come back like in a couple of weeks at the middle or end of september and give me a feedback because i feel like this is so maybe that you know these things already and you are like yeah just recently this person messaged me back again I do feel like it might gonna come in here like a surprise and uh, yeah I wish you wish you all the best with this situation I hope that helped sending you so much love and blessings from Avalon.